Hello everyone and welcome back to The Hunter. I'm Middlebro and I'm leaving off uh, shortly after uh, the last episode uh, in case you're tired of, you missed it or we got our hands on a workbench and uh, we're still infected but we should have an airdrop coming today and well our, I've decided from last episode uh, that I want to I want to go into the go into the wasteland town up north here. I figured, you know, let's take a risk and kind of spice things up a little bit. We're going to get into go into the wasteland town and we're going there might be some zombie bears, there might be dogs, there might even be landmines. With all that being said, let's uh, get into it and I'll get uh, on my way to the town. All right, so I'm heading into the about to go into the wasteland biome here. Uh, I just searched this car, and great news for those of you guys. I just found a mining helmet. That is really good news. Means I can scrap this football helmet down, and well, we got light now. So that means I don't have to lug around a flashlight. So we got the sweat over here, and let's search this car real quick. And so I wanted to say you got my first subscriber, and you know, whoever you may be, uh, thank you so much, yo. It really means a lot to me starting out as a, a little hmm, content creator here, and you know, it really means a lot. So whoever you are, thank you so much, and also, you know, for the little that are, uh, a bunch of you that are viewing this, like, Thank you so much for viewing and... Oh crap, dog. Let me take care of this dog real quick. Um... I know I'm bleeding out right now, but this is very nerve wracking. Got him down. And we got another one coming. I want to give myself a challenge, so you're gonna get it. Come on, dog. Go down. I'm very scared right here. Oh crap, I died. Well, hey. So, since I died within the first week, you know, I did just say that I was gonna keep this a a no death, uh, a, a, a no permadeath playthrough. So, yeah, let me go uh, spawn back in. I'll get back over to where I was, and I'll be back with you guys in a little bit. So I just realized, uh, actually, I I can't get my stuff back because I made it to where I drop uh, stuff on death, like, and deletes the backpack, so... It's one of those to keep it from being too easy. I want to give myself a challenge, and, hey, you know, you saw the death, and it's one of those... I'm not the best at this game, but, hey, well, I will get better over time. It's just one of the things of gaming, and so... And I realized I lost the mining helmet. It's like... I lost a couple things there, which it kind of sucks, but that's what I get. So yeah, I'm just gonna grab some stone here, and and uh, like I said before, I'll pick up uh, uh, where I left off uh, when I get back to my death point. See you guys in a bit. Alright, so my background died, and yeah, my backpack ain't here. It, it's no big deal, it's like... You know, that's what the game rewarded me with. You would know, give me a mining helmet, and then suddenly it took it away. And all my stuff. Sometimes the game likes to make you pay for all that. It's just how this game is sometimes. So, got some more boots. Uh, but we're just gonna keep going on, and I think what I'm gonna do, since I've decided to not make this a permanent death series, holy crap, that dog just scared me. 
that was the dog that took me down, so while I'm harvesting this guy up, uh, as I was saying, uh, this is not going to be a permanent death series and, you know, from that death he's seen. So, I think I'm going to take this uh, series to day 49. <laughs> and uh, some people would ask, why day 49? Because <laughs> uh, day 49 is, uh, you know, have you seen the title of the game, Seven Days to Die? It's a, you know, on the seventh uh, day, uh, you know, the night time, you get a or zombies and everything, and I think, uh, probably be, uh, interesting to just keep it a 49-day series and, and then, uh, put, move on to another series, so. You know, kind of balance it out, and that way it doesn't go on forever and ever and ever. I know some people like really long series, but let's just kind of keep it limited. So, where I left, <laughs> as I was saying before, you know, died to the dog. Uh, you know, you guys are really appreciated, and, you know, really, you help out so much, and... So we're gonna go into the wasteland here. Just despite, you know, that death, I'm gonna keep going. Just gotta keep on keeping on. There's the airdrop. I have airdrops to... Mark to uh, you know, enable for this, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to save waypoint and I'm going to put an X over that. Just so in case I don't get it uh this episode I can get it next episode. Yes, there are, there is a potential for bear zombie bears and landmines in here, so Along with dogs. So this should be fun. Hopefully you... Know, I saw there was a town, maybe at least a crossroads. If there is, uh, then... That'll be nice to loot. Oh, speak of the devil, a dog. These guys are just spawning rampant. Yes, you. Gotta make sure I try to grab fire these guys down. One HP hero here, ladies and gentlemen. One HP hero. These dogs are gonna be a problem. Okay, hi Annie, how are you doing? Yeah, I'm having a rough day. Nope, no, 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 no. So one of you commented on the second episode, you know, since I asked who I should name the Redshirt guy, decided to name him Mikey. So, as a thesis, uh, you know, thank you for the name suggestion. I was naming this guy Mike, but, you know, let's, uh, I think I'm going to change his name to Curly. If you can, any of you watching this, uh, you know, know the reference, you know, good on you. We got Bob coming with Curly over here. Take these guys out. I think if there's too many dog spawns, I might just, uh, you know, okay, you know, not stay in the wasteland, you know, until I have better armor. I think that'd be a great idea. So, gotta hit on Curly. So I'm gonna take these guys down, and uh, if I find anything interesting in the wasteland, I'll let you know. Alright, as you just seen, I pulled out a, a hunting rifle stock and a car battery, a short shotgun barrel here in the car and from the sports bag. 
So, I see a dog up here, so I'm gonna try to keep my distance right now. Take out Annie, Psycho Steve. Come here, Charlie. Because you get your helping healthy, healthy helping of arrows too. So with some of the animal hide I picked up from scavenging some animals, uh, I've made myself some animal hide armor. I already had some leather chest armor made, and you know, figured, you know, try to protect myself a bit more. Hey, Mikey, how you doing, buddy? Come here, Annie. Nice to meet you. Can't shame. Thank you, Annie. We got Curly coming up. See you around, Mikey. Oh, blue sniffer. No, Curly. Don't hit me. Of all things. I don't need to be hit right now. Oh, that explosion on Curly. Oh, thank you for the sham sandwiches. See if you can see that dog. Oh man, I'm pretty nervous right now. Take these painkillers for a bit of health. Uh, paper. See the dog. Uh, need to make some arrows. Hopefully, I can hit him. Took out the dog. That's one big threat down. Got Curly coming on over. Yeah, the. So, this episode here, you. Five dogs total. Yep, have a good day, Curly. Level up, 30 points to spend. Uh, I'm not gonna harvest a dog. Who is that? Is that Penny over there? There's another dog, that makes it six. Okay, so, once I see something here, there's Penny and a dog. Uh, oh crap, there's a dog. Oh, oh, nope, nope, nope. I'm running. See, so yeah, I'm gonna run back to base and, and, uh, if I don't die, and I'll catch up with you guys in a bit. As you can see, I'm just respawning in now. I just died again. Lesson learned. I am definitely going to uh, stay away from the wasteland biome. So, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Uh, we're going to go get the airdrop. You know, just play it safe. Stay out of the, that biome for now. And, uh... Just to talk a little bit. So, yeah, really, thank you guys again for just, you know, giving me some views. It's, even though it's not much, it means a lot to me. And, well, you know, it means a lot that one of you subscribed to me, and you're, seriously, you're, you're truly awesome, and, you know, I, even though I only got a couple comments so far, you know, really appreciate it. And I just noticed, off in the distance... Uh, where is it? There is a traitor icon here. Means we finally got the, uh, icon there, so... I'm gonna save this as a traitor. Which is awesome, but same distance, uh, but in the opposite direction from the hub city, which... If you missed the episode where I pointed that out, it's... over here. So... 
Sometime we'll get over to the trader and... But yeah, I think we're staying out of the wasteland until I get some <laughs> better armor <laughs> going. And so, it really goes to show <laughs> like uh, how deadly the dogs are on this version. But yeah, two deaths in one episode, it's not great, but it, hey, live and learn. Definitely staying out of there for the time being, and because uh, those dogs just do so much damage to me, I have lost uh, 20 points of wellness, which really sucks. Yeah, but yeah, we're coming up on the airdrop here. It's one of those, even though I've had two deaths, it ain't killing my motivation for this. One of those, uh, just gotta get good, as to some people in the game community would say. Oh boy. Please tell me that's not in the. No, it's not in the wasteland biome. If it was, I would have <laughs> been really scared. Let's just right on the other side of these rocks here. What do we got? Oh, exploding crossbow bolt schematic. That is really good. Got MacGyver's book, which allows me to craft scrap armor. Two first aid kits, three antibiotics. Oh, that would have been nice before I died, but hey, what, one of the nice things is uh, antibiotics cure uh, uh, dying cures uh, infections, ironically enough. And a sniper rifle stock. That isn't much use to me, but that's a good uh, first airdrop. So if I get infected in the future, that's. Not a bad thing at all, you know, like to have some antibiotics and and uh, we're gonna make our way back to base, you know, get some more feathers because I'm gonna need to resupply ammo and everything. Yeah, you know, like I said, not gonna <laughs> kill my motivation. Catch up with you guys while I'm back at base. <laughs> So I'm back to base here, and, you know, I wanted to say, you know, people that, other content creators that are, could probably have cut those two deaths out and you would just play it off, but, you know, I'm not that kind of content creator, you know, if I die, I want to show you guys, it's, it, to me, it's just one of those, you know, want to keep, keep it honest with all you, and, you're, but, uh, I just go, well, it's, it's like, I'm, I'm sure to some it would be discouraging, but it don't discourage me how much. So yeah, I'm collecting supplies here, and we're gonna, gonna work on our night of crafting, uh... But yeah, if you, if any of you guys have a comment, uh, a style of base you want to see, like, you know, for aesthetics, uh, comment down below, and... I will definitely take note of it for when it comes time to build a base, and so I'm going to continue to collect some supplies here and for the night time, and uh, I'll let you know if uh, I think of anything else interesting, you or come across anything interesting, and see you on the night cycle. Alright, so I'm on the night cycle, and uh, I wanted to talk to you guys about, you know, uh, you know, some people may view uh, you know, me taking the death as, like, you know, lighthearted, but I'm just like, it's a game, and it's one of those, I've said multiple times throughout this video, but it does not kill my motivation. It's one of those, it, it motivates me to become better. And, you know, that's, if there's anything I could tell you guys is, uh, I want you guys, you know, if anything gets you down, don't let it get you down for too long, because with the right mindset, you'll get through anything, and, you know, people who will, who know me, uh, will generally know that I try to keep a positive view of things. And, you, that's what I want to convey to you, you, try to keep a positive view on stuff, you know, and, well, well, that's about it. And I noticed I have some skill points, so since I took a couple deaths, I'm gonna take a health level 1, 2, and 3. 
Uh, health nut gives you uh, a, up to plus 50 maximum uh, uh, wellness and uh, at max level and 50 minimum wellness. So I think it starts out at 70 and, and base health. Like uh, every time you die, you lose 10 wellness, uh, which means 10 health and 10 stamina cap and you so yeah it's a really helpful perk and I've just gone back up to 100 so that means I cannot go below 100 anymore and it may seem cheap but it's one of those it's like stamina is very important along with health uh, obviously health keeps you from dying but uh, I figured it would be a good investment and so yeah it's one of those uh, Gonna be crafting some more on the night time. Uh, again, it's gonna be. It might be a slow night. It might not be. But you know, you. But really, thank you for those of you who have viewed my first couple episodes, and really appreciate you. And and so, the goal for t for the next day is. Since I saw this road and it was curving around, like, uh, I'm going to, I plan on following that road and hopefully finding a town down here, maybe, and, uh, hopefully, uh, find a house and then, uh, you know, kind of have, you know, be more located in a town and we can start, uh, making some more progress and prepping for the horde of day seven. Uh, so... I want to thank you guys for watching, and yeah, please uh, watch one of the videos that comes up on screen, and I want you all have a great day. Take care.